According to Avia.pro, the Ukrainian army began to destroy the railway and road bridges leading to Bakhmut. Amid the strong attack on Bakhmut by Russian forces units, according to sources the Ukrainian army is losing gradually gained advantage in this strategic city and retreated to the west. As noted, to prevent the transfer of Russian troops to the city and to launch a subsequent attack on Slaviansk, Donetsk, as well as in some directions on the other hand, the Ukrainian army has begun destroying railway and road bridges. Recently, a video was published on social networks showing the final days of the ongoing clashes in Bakhmut. Due to the strong destructive power of artillery, tanks and aircraft on both sides of the city, the city was heavily damaged. At the same time, Information from the battlefield said that the Ukrainian army lost the ability to protect some areas of the country. The city and according to some data, the Russian Wagner mercenary units even gained an advantage, although this information did not receive reliable verification. Besides, the situation destroyed the trees. Bridge is also taking place in Bakhmut. Currently, it is known that the railway bridge near the settlement of Podgorno controlled by the Ukrainian army has been blown up as well as the road bridge near the traffic police station on the northern outskirts of Bakhmut. Both bridges play an important role in organizing the next attack to the west, which shows that the armed forces of Ukraine are preparing for urban battles or are preparing for a retreat. Earlier, in a video address on December 10, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced the sad news about four cities and towns in Donetsk and Luhansk, including the Pan of Fire, Bakhmut, Bakhmut, Soledar, Marienka, Kremina. For a long time there was not a single settlement of these areas that was not destroyed by artillery fire and fire. The occupation forces actually destroyed Bakhmut. Of the Donbass has turned to rubble and burned, Zelensky said. Zelensky also said the situation remains very difficult in some frontline cities in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions of eastern Ukraine. Formerly a large industrial area of Donbass bordering Russia but now becomes a pan of fire in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Back HMUT is a strategic base north of Donetsk, located on the main road leading to two major cities including Sloviansk and Kramatorsk in the same province, is considered an important transport hub in the region and helps supply supplies to the region. Ukrainian forces in the Donbass. Bakhmut region became an important target for both sides. Both Russian and Ukrainian sides are sending troops from Kherson province and elsewhere to reinforce forces here. Russian warplanes wiped out Ukraine's Buk M1 air defense missile system in Kramatorsk, Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Igor Konashenkov said on December 11. Designed to strike tactical and strategic aircraft, cruise missiles, and other targets within their operational areas. The system can also counter tactical ballistic missiles, anti radar systems, and precision weapons launched from the ground and from the air, as well as attack radar deployment sites. Ground and sea radar. The Buk M1 can attack targets within a range of 3 to 45 kilometers at an altitude of 25 meters to 22 kilometers and gradually accelerate to a speed of 1,200 meters per second. Russia also announced that it had been eliminated. Nearly 260 Ukrainian military targets in the past day, according to which Russian artillery, missiles and fighter jets hit 86 artillery units at Ukrainian firing positions along with forces and equipment military equipment of this country in 177 areas.